Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video on software defined radio application. I think the last video was all about LD cell scanners and LT trackers. Uh, we're bas basically trying to find out where where's the transmission of an LT is happening. Uh, today we're going to look at a similar thing but for GSM. We're going to look for GSM cells. Uh, we're going to look for GSM channels. We're going to look for GSM frequencies and things like that using a tool called which Calibrate. Uh, Calibrate is a tool which is available in your Dragon OS Focal user source folder. Just simply go there and let me just ls it and show you. This is where the folder is. Uh, it's called Calibrate. Where is it? Where is it? K. Okay, so this is what that folder is. Calibrate.l uh, uh, hyphen RTL. So default, it's you can use your RTL SDR dongle, which I have connected here. Uh, but the thing about RTL SDR dongle, the one that I have, it has a cap at somewhere around 1700 megahertz. So I can only look for frequencies around 850 megahertz band and uh, 900 megahertz band. So we're going to look for those cells around that area. Uh, frequencies, basically we're looking for channels. Uh, why am I doing this? What is the purpose of Calibrate? We got to know this, that GSM is still a widely used mobile telephony around the world. More than billion users are still using it for voice communication and uh, and LTE for your data services and things like that. Even though sometime you have your LTEs on when you're making a phone call it automatically switch to 3G uh, when you have your data services on. Have you ever noticed that on your phone? Uh, whenever you're trying to make a phone call it autom if you have your data services on it will automatically switch to 3G but if you have your data services off and you're making a phone call the code network that's using is actually GSM which is a widely deployed network around the world. Uh, why am I doing this? Um, what was the purpose of it? You can just google it why we're using Calibrate. What was the purpose for it? Just to give you an idea uh, GSM uses something called FCCH. Uh, this is actually a frequency correction channel. Before you start transmitting it, it actually sends a mo your base station sends a beacon to your mobile phone uh, to perform like uh, frequency correction before the transmission happens. Uh, this is what the bar is showing on your mobile phone. So for that, we're going to use something called Calibrate. Uh, in order for me to use it, the basic idea is this: just simply go to your source folder. I just wanted to show you. Just simply type in cal. Uh, let me just look for help. What are some of the parameters you can do? You can do a band scan. You can do a frequency scan. You can do a channel nearby. You can do band indicator gain, things like that. Anything that you are doing, you can do it. If you have just, if you're just using cal, K-A-L, uh, it's going to use automatically things that you're using RTL as your dongle for a hack RF. It's a different story. I'm going to show you that, both of them. So just simply type cal. S for your band and then you're just going to simply type in 900. So let's just look for frequencies around 900. Uh, why? Let me just take this out and plug it again. And let's just do this scan again. So we're going to look for like one or two frequencies uh, because the RTL SDR dongle that I'm using, it has a very flimsy antenna and then I'm using an MCX2 um, SMA. So I think the matching, the impedance matching is properly not there. Uh, but we're going to look for like a couple of them using RTL SDR dongle just to show you how you can use this. Um, using RTL SDR dongle, not everyone has hack RF, but just to give you an idea what is it that we're trying to do. So here we go. We got channel number eight uh, with uh, had as a frequency 9 and 36.6 mega. And you have about plus and minus 33.992 kilohertz. Power, this is in terms of linear scale. So whatever the power that you're seeing right now, this is in terms of linear scale, it's not in dB. Uh, so it's gonna do like a scan of all the channels at particular GSM band, the entire GSM band, and especially the downlink band. So, so you're only looking at not the uplink one, you're actually looking at GSM downlink. Always remember that uplink frequencies are lower downlink frequencies are much higher. So if you're looking at an uplink, the frequency should be less than 936, uh, whichever region you're in, based on the allocation. So let me just simply stop this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to plug in my HackRF, which is much speeder platform. All right. So it's all plugged in. It's all powered in. It has a better antenna. Uh, the matching is perfectly fine. 
So we're going to look that we're going to leave this over here. Now, as soon as you type cal, you will get two options. We're going to look at hack RF. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to look at a band and we will see the performance of this. So now this hack RF is actually start looking for those GSM uh, scanning for GSM channels at around GSM 900 band. And I think um, we have about uh, about like I think the entire band is about 25 megahertz of chunk. Uh, so plus and so we have channel four, five, six, seven. If I move this closer to my the window, I might even get like a lot of different channels with different powers. Uh, but uh, let's just look for this and let's see where it stops. All right, so we're up to channel 97 and and so on. So I just wanted to give you a basic idea regarding this, uh, how you can use RTLSDR dongle. Then you can also run GRGSM uh, GR scanner. Uh, let's try to do that. Uh, GRGSM scanner, GRGSM. Live mon. Let's try live mon. Okay, you can also run GRGSM live mon. Live monitor. So I think it should pop up a window that will have. Uh, let's see. All right, we're gonna wait for a moment. We're gonna wait for it. Here we go. So you can also uh, run GARGSM live monitor. So 925, there's nothing much going on. Let's just simply jump into 936 because this is where I'm seeing the activity happening. So let's see if my, here we go. So indeed I was right about that, that indeed at uh, 936, we, we are getting some power and we can clearly see that on a spectrum as well. Uh, said, so indeed it was, whatever that we are seeing using calibrate i can i can like you know confirm it with a grgsm live monitor so if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching